Welcome back to the internet, friends and family members and compatriots <clears throat> and Nickelback fans and uh, and uh, yeah, that's all we got. That's it. We're all done. I have been having pretty ridiculous luck with Golgari, so like. When that happens, I'm reluctant to switch. However, <clears throat> there's nothing great Golgari here. Drafto McMafto. Hey, Rank, it's been a long time since I've catched you live. What do you think of the current standard? Any favorite? Um, we were just we were just talking about that, Zol. Um, my friend Rob, otherwise known as Illusion, Illusions Donate GG in the chat. Uh, wants me to go to FNM with him tomorrow when it is standard, and I don't know what to play. So I was actually seeing if anybody had any suggestions. By the time you guys watch this on YouTube, unfortunately, actually this will this one will probably be up tomorrow morning. So if you guys have comments, let me know, and uh, I'll see what I can do. I don't know what to take here. I'm pretty I'm leaning just towards Conclave Guild Mage or Sinister Sabotage, but like this is barely better than a cancel. I think it's not great. It's good in constructed. I think this is just a better card for for limited I really don't want to be is it I could be Demir but eh, I'm just thinking the guild mage I feel like I've had better luck with decks that are like playing big creatures and attacking <clears throat> so I don't know I also really don't like this card it's it's susceptible to all the neg one neg one effects it's susceptible to cosmotronic wave I don't think you want to really be putting creatures in your graveyard in the gold guard I, like, you do you want creatures to end up in your graveyard but you don't really want to put them there you know what I mean like I know that sounds weird and like people are gonna be like, well, it's it's milling, so it's it's random. It's a random selection of cards, right? But you're trying to put creatures in the graveyard for undergrowth, right? So, like, if I have one rhizome lurcher in my deck and I get get it in the graveyard, it's not really gonna benefit the rhizome rhizome lurcher. So, anyway, this is just my opinion. I, I know it's gonna be controversial. I know people uh, like the three one for two that puts the creatures in the graveyard, but. <clears throat> In my experience, Ghost Stormers is good on turn two and almost literally. And like, I've never actually seen someone choose to put a land on top of their library with this, other than when they literally accidentally misclick. I'm probably just gonna take the Wild Saratok, which feels weird. I'll take the Flight. I don't think this card's great. I'll take the Lurcher. I <laughs> just can't. Like, Golgari has been so good for us. Like, I don't know. It also didn't look like any other colors were that open from that pack. But Rhizome Lurcher is actually a card that's just very, very solid. And we can still splash Conclave Guild Mage or this, and I'm probably gonna take Molder Hulk here. I don't think either of the other white cards are very strong. I also don't think the green cards are very strong. However, this is a reasonably sized uh, Golgari card, and I think it's actually totally fine. Rosemane Centaur. All right, so we can actually just play Abzan, right? There ain't nothing wrong with that. I think Rosemane Centaur is definitely stronger than this three-three, and it's. Definitely stronger than these idiots. Yeah, this is fine. <clears throat> I'm not going to take the Clarion as a third pick. It just doesn't fit with our deck. And I I think Clarion's great. Um, I don't think it's nutso. I'm going to open these packs while we draft. How's that sound? It's like a box opening, but, um, but you know, multitasking, right? I'm only going to show you the rares and any foils that, that come up, though. It's an insect token. That's a guild gate. And then I'm gonna put a bunch of cards in front of me. Oh, oh, first, oh, ritual of soot. Okay, that's not bad. And I'll show you these uncommons too, because you guys like that, right? You guys like the uncommons. All right, okay, we did it. <coughs> I think it's actually just gruesome menagerie here. Gruesome menagerie is actually pretty decent for us and if we get this guy in the graveyard we can just get it back for free there are no jokes on you there are no basic lands in ravnica packs get wrecked i actually like gruesome menagerie um it's grown on me and i've had good results with it i want to take this lesson you go to get i really like crushing canopy but uh we have two white cards so i'm gonna take that wow thousand year storm huh okay okay it's probably gateway plaza it's not it might be locket Eh. Port Cullis Vine is meh. I, I'm not a fan of this. I've seen people play it. I understand. 
It helps you convoke. It helps you put things in the graveyard. It does it does both of the Golgari slash Celestia things very, very well. And it's really elegant that way. I like it a lot. But... In a recent stream, you were humming the melody to a song and singing if you're feeling smart. What song? What, if you're feeling smart? I don't know. What the, you're going to have to give me more than that. Uh, Rosemane Centaur or Iron Shell Beetle? Interesting. Interesting. Gruesome Menagerie is double black, so I'm probably leaning closer to white. Also, Iron Shell Beetle is another. God, Centaur is so much better, though. I think Centaur is probably good. Oh, look at how good we are at this game. I'll take a Beetle. And look at that, we get this too. Alright, perfect. Everybody wins. Literally all the cards that we were tempted to take, or not tempted to take, but like in our colors are still here, which is kind of kind of comical, right? <clears throat> oh, Celestial. Oh, the understudy. Yeah, this guy's actually fine. I'm a fan of Necrolisk. Also a card that has <clears throat> that has grown on me. No love for Raiders? No. I had a lot of love for Raiders. I was actually very, very high on Raiders at the beginning. And uh, <clears throat> they just don't work out. Got an angel token, though. It's hard to see. It's hard to get the camera to focus on, like, one random card. Randomly. Plus, you guys know what the angel token looks like. I don't need to... Doot, doot, doot. Double maximize altitude. This is a card I can't even get... I can't even try to get in a... In a man, it is a deck. Boros Guild Gate. Why did I show you that? You guys don't care about the Boros Guild Gate. Ooh, a Trostani Discordant. That's sad, because it's not really the, uh... Oh, Thief of Sanity? Oh. Uh, it's not really the Mythic I want to open, unfortunately. And then we got, uh, Joint Shields, a World Soul Colossus, and a Plague Crafter. Solid gentleman. Solid gentleman all. <clears throat> well, I guess we're blue now. It's also dead weight. Why Contraband of the Golgari Creatures? Uh, the Golgari Creatures suck, but we might want a way to deal with an enchantment or an artifact or both, so. Those were, none of those creatures were very good. Uh, I don't think it's Crawl Swarm. It's either Deadweight or just Thief of Sanity. And we have a Gateway Plaza already. Hmm. Hmm. Thief of Sanity is a real beating. Huh. Do we just go four color green? Is this what we're doing? It... What? Sick! Get past that Nullhide Ferox. Oh, baby! Alright, well, someone's not in green, that's for sure. <clears throat> also, Thief of Sanity can come back with Gruesome Menagerie. It could be our three drop, which is pretty sweet if we end up surveilling it into the graveyard or something. Alright, well, we're just taking Nullhide Ferox. Windmill slamming that dude. A District Guide is the perfect three drop to pick up when we just picked up a Thief of Sanity to splash. There is a bug flying around as well. Why, why are there so many like little flies? I feel like I live in filth, but everything is clean. I, I don't live in filth. Unbelievable. <clears throat> Man, Thief of Sanity into Nullhide Ferox and District Guide? This is where we want to be. Celestia Guildgate is an option. Child of Night's an option just because we don't have many uh, two drops right now. Notion Rain. I don't think we want to go Notion Rain. I don't think we want a third. Another blue card. I'm definitely not taking Spider. That that dude's boring. Boring. <clears throat> what happened? I don't know. What's going on? I might just take Celestia. I also like Watcher, but. Um, pretty sure I'm just taking Child of Night here. And another Child of Night. Oh, uh, we're going to take the Pitiless Gorgon. Like, Golgari is still our main color, and I still want to make sure we have these, uh, these, these costs well-rounded. Um, um, it's probably just Might here. I like a Mephitic Vapors for the sideboard. It doesn't kill too many of our things, just literally Child of Night right now and Beetle. I don't like Worm. I like that you guys said Worm twice. That's funny. I don't think Worm is that great. I can't give you more than that. It's like why I'm asking it's been stuck in my head. How can it be stuck in your head? Can you link me to where I'm singing it and I can just tell you what song it is? 
Because otherwise I have no idea. I think at this pack might be warm, unless you meant last pack. One perception of filth, but... <laughs> He's living in filth! No, it's actually... I'm, I'm usually very clean. Oh, uh, I like a child of the night. I do sing like 24. No, I'm on a PS4. Well, then you're killing me here. You're killing me here. I don't think it's this. Actually, this might actually even get better now that we have Gruesome Menagerie, but we'll just mill the Gruesome Menagerie every single time, right? I might just want another Child of Night. I'm not going to take a Wood Shaper. I'm not going to splash for a... Like, we're already splashing the white, and I don't want to, like... This is not where I want to be. These guys are all fine. Additionally, we can splash Rosemane Centaur off of something like... Uh, I'm going to take more two drops. Wow, this is a lot of Glow Spore Shamans. I can also just take this Mnemonic Betrayal. We're going to take the Mnemonic Betrayal and we're going to actually play it. This deck is going to be off the chain. I've heard some good things about Mnemonic Betrayal because it is a uh, way to get... Like you, can, like, you can use their removal spells. Yeah, we'll take a Mephitic Vapors. Uh, why don't I like the green, the green black shaman? I just went over this, but I guess I think you just got here late. Um, reason being is that like it's just a three one is fine, but it dies to everything else that that X ones die to in this format. Like, um, uh, um, like neg one neg one or like cosmotronic wave, and it's also difficult to cast for two. It's like it's like a, you have to have specifically black and specifically green. And uh, it mills your creatures into your graveyard. So, like, if you're milling... The idea is to get undergrowth, right? To help your undergrowth. So you're like, oh, I'm going to put some creatures in the graveyard. But if I mill, like, a Molder Hulk and a Nullhide Ferox, like, I'd just rather have those in my hand. The Double Thief of Sanity deck. Well, that's a dang thing. So I'm just not a big fan of, of the 3-1. I just don't think it's that impressive. Well, I'm going to take Thief of Sanity here. I just want to be clear about that. <clears throat> and a Dream Eater. Okay, well. Someone, last pack, someone passed us a Nullhide Ferox. This pack, they passed us a Dream Eater. I don't even think we're white anymore. Okay. Well. <sighs> oh, boy. Seems good. Seems good. I guess it's just this, there's really nothing in this pack for uh, for Sultai. So, what is that avatar on the bottom right of the draft table? The avatar? This one? The bottom right? Is it the Ragavan? Because this is me right here. I'm Ragavan. What sound do you think it makes? <laughs> Look how look at Rob so subtly trying to get me to make a monkey noise. <laughs> it's kind of like that, probably. I'd imagine. I'm gonna take this unexplained disappearance. There's nothing else in this pack that I even care about. Oh, plague crafter and a dead weight. I like this. I like the Vernati shaman a lot because we don't actually have to play white to to splash these. We can just use this guy for the white mana, which is pretty nice. Unfortunately, we do have double Celestia Guildgate here, so uh, it's it's almost like a free splash. Deadweight or Plague Crafter? I can't believe we just got. Pa I can't be just believe we got past the Nullhide Ferox and a Dream Eater in this draft. I think it's Plague Crafter, right? chance <clears throat> I like artful takedown but I really like watcher a little better <laughs> did you <laughs> oh I meant snitch my bad it's okay man sometimes just sometimes English is hard you know what I mean 
I don't actually know which one it is, Overwatch or Artful Takedown. Um, we have 17 creatures. I'm going to go with the Takedown. We also have a lot of good creatures to get back with Menagerie. We don't have any one drops, unfortunately. But I think even if you get back like a two drop and a three drop, it's still pretty good. You don't have a lot of removal. Do we not? I guess we don't. That's not really removal. That's not really removal. These are all kind of removal. Elk Tears, what's going on, buddy? Always a pleasure. I saw you lurking. I just paused the Golgari stream we did last night to watch this live Golgari. That's a solid choice. But this is also a soul type. I think it's actually just Gateway Plaza here. I want the double agent, but oh, burglar rats and a beetle. Probably rats here. I like having another two drop here. Can we get like another guild gate just for the heck of it? Yeah, I'll probably do that. None of these cards are any good. Another gateway. Oh, shield mate. Gosh, shield mate does they this this splash a lot easier. By easier, I just mean... Actually, we're just... Oh, man, this is tricky. Hey, man, I got this rat so you can pay your rat debt, if that helps you. He, he said thanks. Oh, an ocean rain? All right, that's pretty good. Guild summit? That could actually be good here. Look how many guild gates we have. It's like 90. 90 guild gates. We actually have eight gates. It's pretty good. A voice from beyond the tear. <laughs> Alright, another pack. As I mentioned, these were courtesy of uh, Brian from the, the game store online. Um, good buddy. Good buddy. Token. Guildgate. Rare? Oh, how fitting. Wow. Thief of Sanity stream confirmed. That's hilarious. And wow, this is a this is actually a pretty stacked pack. We got a City Watch Sphinx, a Guild Summit, and a Dispersal Discovery. Dispersal Discovery. Alright, let's see what we're doing here. It's almost free to splash these guys, to be real. Um... I think we can take out the worm. I don't actually care about the worm. I don't even care about your stupid worm. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Nuanic Betrayal. We said we are going to play this, right? Oh, I like Flaunty. That's nice. That's like a flying Gaunty. <laughs> this deck looks pretty nuts, right? How many... Yikes. Splashing is never free. I want the guild summit in here. So this would be 25. What do we cut for the guild summit? Like, we have eight gates, right? That's pretty good. If we don't splash those, we only have four of these. I think you're probably right not to play this or the centaurs. Oh, God. Ugh. I just don't have any other five drops, which is kind of sad. Deck looks pretty sweet though. Could just play a wild Saratok. 4 3 is fine. 
Could, could play just one worm for the hell of it. Yeah, I guess that's fine. I don't love it, but... Sort by color. These are all blues. These are all greens. And they both share black, so black is going to be obviously our central color. Six is ten black. Three, four, five, six green. Probably want a seventh green. Four, five, six, seven. So this is seven, seven, nine. Yeah, that seems absolutely great, actually. Done. Let's do it. Let's crush. Hope we hope we crush. Anyway. I don't know how we're going to get through 36 packs at this rate. Insect token. Is it Guildgate? And... Oh, Sacred Foundry. That's a dual land. A fetch land. A shock land. You know what they're called. I'll join this match. And I got these guys. Got a Smelt Ward Minotaur, a Thought Erasure, and a Conclave. Cavaliers, as the French say. Caval Cavalier? It's French, you wouldn't understand. You wouldn't get it. You'd have to be there. You know what? This hand is fine. It's not great. It's got an ocean rain, actually, that we can cast. Oh, if any of Cavier was great, I was uh, I was quite a big fan when he was playing for the Lightning as well. I don't know where Vinny is now. He might still be with Lightning, but I don't know. Hockey players move around a lot, so. <clears throat> we had the match where we broke the server a few weeks ago. <laughs> was amazing oh man that's good stuff dude vanilla cavi you got a got a concussion oh man that sucks he was great he was like he was one of the lightning's mvps during that uh during that era him and hobby bullen <laughs> and the secret creatures I didn't know were on the board. Good times, good times. I got a weird coupon in the mail today from Domino's that was literally just for free pizza. No catch, no tricks. Just order any pizza, any toppings, put in a code, and free. I asked my neighbors and nobody got the coupon. I think the Domino's Corp has gotten word of my Howie publicity and wants in. Hey, buddy, did you, uh, did you want some free pizza? You know, we're Domino's. We're very good. We have very good pizza. If you wanted free pizza, we can give it to you. It's not a, it's not an issue. We, we make tons of pizzas all the time. Is Frank pretending I d I'm throwing you gold comment gold comments? Gold. Haven't you watched Naruto? Never so I've never I actually never watched. N I also pronounce it Naruto and not Naruto, and that that has tilted people in my past before. They have not liked that. I'm gonna start with the forest because we have a fine broker. Sadly, you are in a coma. Well, that's rough. That's rough. Do we just play Iron Shell Beetle here? Hmm. I don't know if it's Iron Shell Beetle or Gateway Plaza and just skip a turn. My fear is if they get a if they get a mentor guy out and we don't have anything on board, then when they do end up attacking, it's gonna be a a big dude.
The worst part about having the jazz in the beginning of the stream is that I, it gets stuck in my head, like, for the entire time. I'm hearing, like, a honking outside, and I'm not sure if I'm going... It could be one of three things. It could be a low hum from, like, a computer. It could be an actual horn honking, because there's an accident, and, like, the horn is stuck. Or I could just be going crazy, and I really don't know which of the three it is. Which is kind of tilting me a little bit. I'm almost tempted to open the window just to crack to see if it gets louder because then I know it's real. Oh god. What is this? Oh, that's actually fine. Yeah, they luminous bonds my beetle, which is... I'm, I'm pretty okay with it as long as we can hit, keep hitting our land drops. It's actually not bad because we get to play Child of Night. Child of Night. And then next time we have double green and double blue black. Double blue black. That's what they used to call me in, in high in college. Old double blue black. No idea what it meant. <laughs> there was the uh, obligatory uh, sneeze for the stream right there. I'm actually just going to 100% block here because I don't want to take 6 and go to 8 against a Boros deck. But I also, when we play this next turn and we just want to have something to get back, which seems reasonable. So I'll take 1. Can you? St I would appreciate it if you stopped playing things. Alright, that's fine. All right, we did it. We did it. Are you just attacking with that guy? Deal. I'll take it. Any one land and we can play Dream Eater. Are you ready for the land? Did it. God, we're good at this game. Alright, so now we're just going to pass here. <clears throat> we got a Dream Meter up. Here we go. Yeah, that's fine. I don't want to bounce the boar, but I do want to bounce this thing, so. Let's surveil. Oh, boy. Mnemonic Betrayal, not bad when they have Sworn Companions in there. I don't care about Gateway Plaza. Next turn, we can go Child and Pitiless Gorgon. Uh, put this in the graveyard. We can put you on top, and then we'll put you on top after that. And get rid of you. So I have two cards. We know one of them. Seems good. Seems good. Can you tell me why the commercial executive song has been using um, Amino oh, Opera song, but changed Domino's? <laughs> that's actually that's actually pretty funny. That's actually pretty good. Matt Theory, way to go, buddy. Way to go. I can't imagine attacking with this. They just go block with 3 3 and 1 1. That doesn't seem good. What time did Mike get up yesterday? Like, say, he said he got up. He's like, oh, I got up at like 4. I'm like, I guess that's better than 7, but still not great. Who sliced your worm in half? I'll never tell. <clears throat> I'll never talk about my worm. So we're going to go black, blue, child, 
One, two, three, Gorgie. I feel like we've stabilized until they go Cosmotronic Wave attack for three, four, five, six, seven. We go to two. <clears throat> There's a lot of things. This is a this is a Cosmotronic Wave of Virus song. I was hoping they'd have more things in the graveyard. One, two, three. One, two, three. We can actually just get back a Sworn Companions. I guess we can go to... So we have three blockers, right? This is problematic, but I don't think we super care about it. It's like, and also says you can cast those cards, not play. So we can't actually put this into play, unfortunately. Attacking with Dream Eater. I'm tempted to just play this guy as a six-four. That actually seems fine. I'm waiting for the Cosmotronic Wave to kill us. I'll give this guy plus zero, plus zero. I guess we could have given it Vigilance. That was pretty bad. I forgot about the Vigilance. Because I never play this card. I don't think it's very good. I'm still pretty okay with everything that's happening. Yeah, so, no consequence. Ooh, thiefy boy! Can't be blocked by more than one creature, huh? Six, seven, eight, nine. I'm just gonna attack with you. Like if they had Cosmotronic Wave, we'd be dead, right? So our deck is pretty gas. <laughs> just don't Cosmotronic Wave us, bro. Oh, I top deck a Cosmotronic Wave. How lucky. Okay, that's not it. That's the exact opposite of a Cosmotronic Wave. That's a card that dies to a Cosmotronic Wave. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Only two guys would get through, so we'd probably take like two and gain two. Four chart, two voice. I have no what that. Well, I don't know what you guys are saying. Sometimes I lose track of the chat. <laughs> God. Oh Lord. Like you do. Um, Parhelion Patrol seems good. No need to show them a Ferox, I guess. Come on, no Cosmotronic Wave. You're two. Let's just let's just make it. Let's don't be don't be ridiculous here. Oh, here comes an Alpha. All right. Oh boy. Let's see if we're dead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. We have five blockers. So three guys are getting through. And we're going to gain two. Block you. Block you. Uh, block you. Block you. And block you. So we're taking six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You have two sure strikes. But we can't really deal with... We can't really play around that, so... Okay, you're at six. Yeah, it's an abyss, but they have a lot, bunch of creatures that we don't care about. Like, I'd rather have a blocker that can that can prevent three damage, than uh, attack and 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 get a one one off the board. So, I'm filing for comp if it doesn't glitch. <laughs> For real, man. It's just better the other way. Just make a glitch every game. We have a play set of guild gates here. That's pretty comical to me. Do the vigor wiggle. No one, no one do the vigor wiggle, please. Uh-huh. 
<laughs> Why do I have the Adams Family stuck in my head? Their house is a museum where people come and see them. Why is this in my head? I don't know. Oh, wow. Night Vale Predator. How about a turn two gateway plaza so we can go turn three this guy, turn four this guy. Gateway plaza? Green. Green! We probably should have boarded in Vapors. You're right. I don't like Vine as much, but I think... Oh, we did it, boys. Nope, that's not going to do it. MapTech, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Oh, the donation goal is gone. That's sad. Refresh it. Kapow. Oh, fashionably late to the party, Gateway Plaza. We're going to attack with this guy because if you... I'll trade. I'll make that trade. Oh, they're making the trade. You like it to trade, huh? All right. It's better for this guy. Interesting. Let's get in there. They do have maximized velocity, let's not forget. 200 bits for old Frank Saltire or Salty Labor. Wow. Are those my only options? Let's get Necroliskin. I think the noise stopped, so I'm pretty sure it was an actual noise. That's rude. We could also sacrifice... Oh, we can't sacrifice it to itself. That's sad. If we could, we can actually get the Luminous Bonds in the graveyard. So that... Uh, I'm going to play this guy. We will get a land. Might as well get a Golgari Guildgate here and just play it for the turn. I guess we could have played Gateway Plaza, which is probably just better than the Guildgate. That's stupid. I'm dumb. I'm not very good at magic. I was like, I wanted to get this and not give them information. But I think the information cost is actually just worse than... Uh, the, the mana cost is actually just worse than the information they'll get from... It was a misplay, all right, guys? God. Just let it go. Did you, did Mike ever wake up yesterday? He woke up, he said he woke up around four. But he said it like it was like, like he was like, I got up around four. Like it was like, I'll show you guys. And I was just like, come on, buddy. Just stop it. I just don't, he can't understand sleeping that late. Like, you could just keep an artful take down here. I think it's probably better. You don't think I love Hot Ones? How dare you? The new Hot Ones has Adam Carolla on it. It came out today. I haven't watched it yet, but I will. 4 p.m. is 8 a.m. somewhere. I guess that's true. This is good. Not good enough. Uh, Tap you, kill you. Hope you don't have a pump. That would be really sad. Nope, they did not. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm going to give them the old back. Oh, they have one card in hand? Oh, that's no good. Yikes. How did you confirm I love hot ones? How did you confirm I didn't love hot ones? I'm trying to figure out why, where where that was confirmed. Oh, did you watch the new hot ones? No, I have not. No, I have not. I was glad to see it was actually. You haven't heard a lot of the celebrities on hot ones. I haven't, I haven't heard of some of them, but after I hear of them on hot ones, I always check them out and I've liked a lot of them. Mm. Also, a lot of them are big YouTube celebrities. And by YouTube celebrities, I mean celebrities who actually do a lot of their promotion and uh, have a lot of their music on YouTube. So. <laughs> the Adams family. Why is the Adams family stuck in my head? Turn four and I felt better in a deck that is playing forests is great. I agree with you. What's a Hot Ones? Hot Ones is a web show. It's an interview web show hosted by Sean Evans on the First We Feast channel where uh, guests eat 10 hot wings in increasing levels of hotness. And they have... Uh, they advertise about 10 different, uh, actually exactly 10 different hot sauces on the show. And uh, it's one 
it goes from goes from level one to level ten. Level ten is called the last dab, which is the hottest the hottest of the lineup, and it is one of their proprietary sauces that they made for the show. Uh, you don't care about guild gates. I'm not going to show you the guild gates. What do we got here? Ionize. Not expensive, but it is a playable card that I enjoy. So, and then for these idiots, we got. We got a Rock Charger, a Murmuring Mystic, and a Flight of the Concords or the Equinauts. Your choice. However, two of those I would take very, very readily in a draft. One of them I would not. I am the eye in the sky. Looking at you. My friend just picked up some of the last dab. Gonna feel Oh yeah, I have we have the last dab. I don't have the last dab redux or any of the other ones, other than the second ones. They made like three different versions of the last dab. Um, John, you should definitely enjoy that. It's got a good flavor, but it's very, uh, it's strong. It's a strong boy. I don't actually know how the bot knows people's records. This is a good question. I always wondered that myself. Does that, is the Redux with the chocolate pepper X? Which does not actually taste like chocolate, interestingly enough. Wow, no play until turn four. We have a bunch of two and three drops. Do you like Cannibal? I do, actually. Cannibal Adderley, I believe, used to play downtown St. Pete at the Garden. Maybe? No, that's not correct. There used to be someone who used to play in downtown St. Pete at the Garden, and it was great. Oh, why are you fashionably late? I'm still going to play this instead of the old Necrolisk. This card's just way too strong. Don't deadweight it. Don't artful, artful dodge it. Don't do any of your nonsense. Wow. If I had one more mana... Actually, if we waited a turn... Yeah, we couldn't have bounced it because we didn't have a second blue at the time. Uh, there's actually a place called The Garden in downtown St. Pete. I think it's still around. Man, I haven't been in... Maybe it's not there still. That'd be... Huh. Closed. Yeah. Wow, that's really sad. Okay, that's pretty good. Ah, that's pretty good. Um, so this guy gets 1-1 one, one Vigilance, so it's just 4. It doesn't really do anything. We're just going to pass Play Dream Eater. See? No Garden. Wow, that's rude. You're a rude dude. Also, one more black and we can cast both of the... Uh... <laughs> okay, well. Did they play a land this turn? No, so they can just replay the Crab, which is frustrating. Oh, Menagerie gets this guy back. Oh, and we can actually put this guy into the graveyard. Um, I want all of these, actually. This is insane. We're going to play... We're going to keep the Plaza on top. We're going to keep all of these on top. We can get the Beetle and the Thief back with the Menagerie, which is just busted. And then we can get Gorai... We can get this back with a Fine Broker. Yeah, this is nice. Um, put you on top, put you on top, and then put you on top of that. Yep. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, this, this, this game seems like it's going very well for us. Whoever said Sultai isn't where it's at was wrong. You got it. Just better from a lurcher, boy. Now I can go lurcher gate gateway plaza. Oh, a bats. I see. Well, we're definitely playing this. Huh. This is a six five five. Yeah, we'll just lurch here. What was your draft record at Pro Tour Oath? Uh, 6-0. I did not lose a draft round at the Pro Tour. 
My only losses were in constructed. Including playing against Jason Tao, J, J, Jason, I can't, I can never pronounce it, JC Tao and uh, PV, which was nice. Um, they didn't play their crab, which is pretty interesting here. One, two, three, we still have, I'm going to bounce this guy. You counter this? <gasps> Capture Sphere, my Lurchy. You got it keep you on top well now I wish I did this first but I think it's fine still I'm not going to feel bad about it yeah this is fine Whatever, we'll miss a point. No big deal. Are you still qualified? I haven't been qualified for the PD for ages. I just don't care about competitive magic, really. It's just exhausting to me. I just have more fun playing on Magic Online and streaming. I am the I am the crab. Looking at you, I can grab your face. Get rid of this guy. Wow, you're just going to take nine here. That's pretty impressive. Uh, one, two. I'm just going to get back Vigor Spine Worm because it's just big. And it gives a pretty good buff, right? It gives... Uh, I guess it doesn't. It gives plus one, plus one, and Vigilance. Still, six, four is going to be bigger than this guy. Yeah, it's, it's just definitely the Worm. Oh, they're going to two here? <laughs> A bold strategy, Cotton. I don't think you guys heard that because I always forget the desktop audio. That's so sad. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. They're at two now. And we can make this Undersea Necrolisk a 5 5 with Menace. Yeah, all right. I think we're in good shape here. This was also bad. I'm really I'm really playing terribly right now. Yeah, we should have done this first. Ugh, we're so bad at this game. It's like multiple misplays in one match. Could have been a 5-5, five, five, which, I mean, the Wish Coin Crab not dying here is pretty huge. But they have to double block here. So they go 2-3-3-3, three, 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 they block here, they block here. Eh. I guess they don't. I guess this is fine. How do you top eight two and a half PPTQs? That's fascinating to me. And then here? You're, got it. Yeah, this is this is bad. I guess it's not it's not terrible. <laughs> Actually, it's it's pretty much fine. But we still could have kept we could have killed the wishcoin crab too if we just played correctly. I I one of the things is um one of the things I take solace in is the fact that a lot of my misplays are I, I catch them immediately and a lot of them are speed based and not uh intelligence based. I'm not I'm not missing the plays. I'm just playing too quickly to make the plays, which is that's my that's my consolation. Dingus Egg, thanks so much for the resub. Welcome back. Here's to seven months of nonstop big booty crab action. Here's to that. What is this? Wow. Ten lands. All right. 
Yep, now we're gonna feel real stupid about this. Thank you. Yeah, this is gonna this this play is gonna make a big difference. That's insane. Funkmaster Max, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Filk money, 16 months in a row. Thank you, buddy. Really appreciate it. Yeah, now I feel real bad. If we lose this game because of this. Oh god. It was so easy. All we had to do was pump the other way. I mean, we still have a ton of good draws here. Oh, man. Oh, you have a playable card at the end of my turn no oh, that's actually just fine that is not a thing I care about well so long Sure. All right. Well, we're at a stalemate. We're at 19 and they're at three. So our odds are better that we hit something good. Mnemonic dispersal would be pretty insane, right? One, two, three, four. If we'd have six mana to do whatever we want with. <laughs> I called it, I called it Mnemonic Dispersal. I'm at Betrayal. Yep, that's pretty good. All right. Let's do this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. Let's, we just play Thoughtbound Phantasm and then Concoct, right? To get back like Dream Eater. Which seems pretty nuts. And then we can stack our draws. Uh, concoct. That was amazing. <laughs> oh my god, look at our top three cards, dude. Wow. Uh, I want to put you on top. I'll put you on top of that. And I'll put you on top of that. And we will get back Dream Eater. And we'll surveil for you. Um, graveyard. Actually, we don't want the Pitiless Gorgon. I could care less about that. We'll put you on top. And then put you on top of that. Surveil for this guy. Bounce your stupid idiot crab again. Wow, that was such a good... It deletes misplays. <laughs> yep, bounce that. Trigger, trigger. Take all your stupid cards back. Can't do anything else, right? Sure. That was pretty epic. I was a fan of that. And we have a Thief of Sanity on the top, so they their odds are not great. I drew a third hypothesis. -al. Well, concoct number two is pretty good, I guess. Lucky, 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 lucky. I mean, it's not a game unless they actually get to, uh, puts three cards on top. Wow. Wow. Muse Drake? Instead of Bartizan Bats? That's interesting. I'm intrigued. Seems good.
Is magic my job? E yes, making content and streaming is my job. That is correct. Is this real life? I mean, they could actually like... They're at five cards. It's very possible they deck without having a win condition. For this guy to get to eight, uh, they would need... Yep. All right. So they have one. They have six cards in their deck. Null hide Ferox. Oh uh, no, I have no normal nine to five. If I had a normal nine to five deal, I could never actually stream as well. Like that's, I can't stream to five for five to six hours a day and also have a nine to five job. That would be insane. I feel like you do get paid to watch for a living in enjoyment, right? In 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 enjoyment. What are you kidding? The thief of sanity? Sure. Okay. This is where they're like, my own dream eater. Notion rain? Oh, they're dead. <laughs> they're basically dead. Unless they have the card that shuffles their graveyard into the library, they're basically dead. Not working nine to five. I do remember the day I lost to Nelhide three, three times in a row. It was actually utterly insane. That was the first, that was my first experience with the Guilds of Ravnica. Oh, uh, I guess we're, I guess we're done with that, huh? Hmm. What is this guy, two mana? Sure. Let's get a guild gate back. Uh, what do you got? You got two five? Yeah, we'll just text six six, I guess. Sure. So they can deal four. We'll go to eight. They go to no cards. Sure. We go to four. They die. That's what it's looking like here. If they 2-2 counter a thing, we just don't play anything. Two lethal boys. We're getting closer. I like, wow, double concoct, double hypothesisal Ral Zarek deck, and we ended up decking them. That's pretty cool. First time I cast Knowledge Ferris in draft, I got Capture Sphere, and I couldn't cast my spell. Oh, that sounds pretty bad. I mean, you can pay two. It's not ideal. I mean, it's still super hard to deal with. They have to pay six to Capture Sphere, so if you can get it down early enough, it's pretty good. I don't think they had anything worth vapors. That deck game was pretty insane. I really don't think we board anything in. I don't think we care about Vine or Maximum Altitudes or Dazzling Lights here. Moodmark Painter is meh. Ceratox, meh. Should we attack with Child in case they get a, we're not we don't care about a removal spell. They're they're gonna deck themselves. They had zero cards in their library. Like they had exactly lethal over two turns, but they only have one turn to survive, so the answer is no. Working nine to five. Can we get a music note emoji to signify singing song lyrics? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, we have so here's the here's the problem. We have double three drop already. 
So I'm thinking I'm just gonna play this as a two-two and start dealing some, dealing some beats. Huh. Oh, uh, we have we need a second blue or a second black. I guess we can just go Guildgate next turn. Yeah, we can go Gorgon Guildgate next turn. It seems fine. Right, this is also a reason why I put the the uh, the beetle out here. Two forests? Sure. Um, one, two, three, play Gorgon. Seems fine. Deal. Gotta find the lid to this, buddy. Yep, you can just mill me for two every turn. Undercity Necrolisk and an island. So what you're saying is you're helping me get in my good cards. And... That's okay. I don't know why we attacked this. That was actually an accident. But I'm okay with it. Because we have Gruesome Menagerie in hand. Have they missed lands? They missed three land drops so far? That's pretty good. The music emoji is apparently the note. Like, it's literally you have to type a note and it turns into a note, which is pretty weird because... You have to get a weird... Oh, that's really... Actually, that's fine. Whatever. I don't have six for Dream Eater. Oh, Nullhide Ferox in the graveyard. That's really sad. I feel like if we got a Nullhide Ferox out here, they probably couldn't win. That would be my... Uh, that would be my assumption. Long time no see. I've been here every single day. I think you're just kidding. Uh, I like a burglar rat. This is a trade. Not a trade. I think this is just a menagerie turn, to be quite honest. We can get back District Guide, get a land, and get an Iron Shell Beetle and put it on, like, this guy. Beetle, District Guide. Counter on... Actually, gonna put the counter on the beetle itself so we have a bunch of different guys we have blue blue black black we have green green black black blue 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 green 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 black 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 we have a little bit of everything so we'll just take another black hey fourth land crab wish coin crab Connive. Sure. What does this guy cost for us? Five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we get two mana, so we'd actually hit a land and we can rat. Instead, I'm probably going to Vigorous Spine Worm because this guy costs five, so seven, eight, nine, six. This guy costs four less. So this is going to give plus four. And Vigilance, not Menace, though. Yeah, that's not as good. I probably just want to play this guy. Let's get an... Oh, let's get a Forest, I guess. Uh, 
Oh, connive and kafork. That's good. That's true. I think that's I think that's a good point. Jeez. Let me get a Golgari, Golgari Fine Broker here. It would be utterly insane. We can just get Dream Eater back. Well, that's not it. So you could play a land. This guy costs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We'll have two left over. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So here's what we can do, actually. This is pretty funny. Attack with this guy. I'm probably just going to chump block it. Which is fine. I'm gonna open a pack while we're waiting. Okay, give my own guy back, sure. Sounds good. Actually, because we have trample, I'm probably just gonna play Siege Roman. I was gonna I was gonna actually play both of these guys. Right, right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, there we go. It's like that's weird. Token, Guild Gate. Glaive of the Guild Pact. Mm, okay. You guys ready for the good one? That is not the good one. Swift Blade Vindicator. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. And then for the uncommons, we got a uh, Field, a Beacon Bolt, and a Thoughtbound Phantasm. Not terrible. Not terrible. And for our turn, we have Golgari Find Broke. I one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Well, that's pretty good. You know what? Everybody's coming except for the rat. This is fine. That is a ten ten vigilance. Can I buy that foil off you? I mean, if you want. It seems like it's going to be a an annoyance to ship it. All right, so they're probably like bouncing this guy. One, two, three, four. Sure. Because otherwise we did. Hypothesis. Are they going to kill one of the tutus and make us go to two? Or go to, go to two themselves? They discarded a notion rain. Okay. 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 Huh. Oh, I see. They're dying on their own terms. Oh, no, they're going to... No, they're dying on their own terms. A bold strategy, Cotton. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. It did not. It did not pay off for them. All right. Our deck is pretty good. It says it's it's let's see how it let's see if it pays off for them, not let's see how it works out for them. Come on, Gamma Set, get the quote right. It's a classic movie. Guild Gate. Do -do 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 oh, Vivid Revival. I don't ever see this card. I've never, like, I rarely open this card, and it's never played in Limited. It's never played in Constructed. It's one of those cards where you kind of forget exists. Vivid Revival is a five-minute sorcery that says, return to three multicolor cards from your graveyard to your hand, and then you exile it. It's very weird. I don't actually think it's terrible. Like, three regrowths for, for five mana. It's expensive. It's better than three regrowths for six, regrowths for six mana. Then we have a House Guild Mage and Electro... Uh, book Devour and Electrostatic Field. I actually hate Glowspor Shaman, so that does not seem as sick as you might think to me personally. Uh, this hand seems great. If we can draw just one island, it's actually pretty insane. Keep the crinkles. <laughs> we have a good time.
Okay. Okay. I wonder if I do that, or if we just run out. We have a burglar rat and we have a child of night. If we can hit a land, come on, land, 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 land. Dang it. Hold on. <laughs> Why do I keep sneezing? This is unbelievable. I'm tired of it. Okay, so. You're hitting up GP at Jersey or Atlanta? Not likely. GP Atlanta is actually the same weekend as BlizzCon, so it will not be at GP Atlanta. I was considering actually driving up there, but I'm already going to be at BlizzCon. And GP Jersey, eh. I've said this before. I just, I just don't actually care about events like that. If someone offered, if someone was like, "Hey, I'll pay for your trip. Will you give me a hotel room?" I'd be like, "All right, cool. I'll go." But I don't know. the The money, the 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 cost is not. Uh, it's not proportional to the enjoyment I get out of the event, unfortunately. So, like, we can definitely play Thief of Sanity next turn if we play Gateway Plaza here. But we can also just start getting guys down. I'm going to go with Gateway Plaza. I just feel like it's better. We only take one turn off here, so. Uh, am I playing FNM? I'm not sure. You know, I really don't get much enjoyment out of those things, especially because of the people who were there. Like... Oh, a Midnight Reaper. Well then. Well, let's see how we do. Is Atlanta close to real? Atlanta's like six hours away. It's a six hour drive. Jake, it was good to see you, buddy. I'm really, that's really, it was so funny that we, we ran into each other. Wow, that's cool. I'm having a good time. JK, but it was not good time. It was bad time. You thought Atlanta was in Florida? That's pretty funny. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. I thought Atlanta was in Florida. Uh, this is not an ideal trade, but I guess we have Necrolisk to follow up. Oh, they get to draw a card, though. Oh, gross. Our deck does not have a ton of removal, so... Eh, this is a two-for-one. Okay. That's a good number of lands. That's uh, enough lands. Well, they are missing land drops despite actually hitting an extra land. But they are going to be gaining two life a turn. So this is just fine. Oh, they didn't gain life in response. That's great. They do draw two, but... I mean... What can you do? Man, that Thief of Sanity would have been so good for us.
four four lot four four six thousand lot rhizome lurcher that's a good one that is not a good one all right all right this is really awkward that they get they mulligan five they get mana screwed and we still are way behind because we've drawn one two three four five six seven eight lands and six spells yes Uh, I actually love my Prius. Yes, I would definitely get another Prius when I get a new car. I've had my Prius for about eight years now. It is an 06. Uh, it has about 200,000 miles on it, and it still works great. What is this guy, 4-4? Four, four? That's pretty solid. Well, might as well get rid of the 6-6 six, six and keep a guy. Seems fine. Unless your gateway plaza is going to cast Take Heart. Are you kidding me? Wow. This is actually incredible. I drove across the US and back. I have drawn I've drove I've driven to Seattle in my car and I've driven back from Seattle in my car. That was unbelievable. At least if we blocked the 4-4, we could have killed it, but it's <sighs> lucky, 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 lucky. I mean, from the Conclave Tribunal off of the Gateway Plaza. Like. Yeah. Actually, should have blocked this. I didn't realize that was. I didn't even. I just don't even care anymore. Um, one, two, three, four. One, two. All right. So we can actually do a bunch of things here. Maybe we're not dead. One, two, three, four, five. <coughs> two drop. We'll get. We're gonna get Child of Night and District Guide because at least we can double block the 6-6. Six, six. Gain some life off of it. Get an island here. All right, we're not dead. You said I said Atlanta's around six hours. Yeah, it's around a six hour drive. Well, this is amazing. You clearly played this guy first, so you have another trick, I'm sure. Maybe another status statue. Statute? Statue? It is statue. All right, well, no? Fascinating. <laughs> Fantastic. How nice. How nice. So they just get to replay this guy as something bigger. Yep, that's cool. This is a shockingly surprising game. See, this is where I want the Crush Contraband, just to deal with the... Uh, God, I wish I had a Crushing Canopy. Just to deal with the... Conclave. And they have the other guy. Maybe I just bring Crush, crush Contraband and splash it off of like a Gateway Plaza. It's not terrible. Being able to kill a Rampaging Monument and a Conclave Tribunal is pretty decent. I don't like Unexplained Disappearance to get the Undergrowth decks because it just makes them bigger. Vili, what's going on, buddy? Always a pleasure. Ha, 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 ha. 
So we have three sources of white thanks to a district guide. So we have Plaza Plaza district guide. I will play first. I will keep this hand. We'll try it again. We know they have a dead weight. Bit of a green screen. Yeah, it happens. What are you going to do? You're going to move it. That's what. Yeah, I don't, it's like I can't push it from here, so I'm just going to leave it because eh, it's not a it's not a, it's not a game breaker. Oh. So now we just play Beetle uh, so that we have Plague Crafter protection. Which is nice. Because now we can just naturally Thief of Sanity. Could not actually play that any fat I just ripped the magic online card in half yeah does that work for the day and now to get to hang out with you. what what time is it over there it's gotta be like it's gotta be like 1 a.m god they never don't have it it's actually mind-blowing to me um yeah we're just gonna play this because we can't do anything else and I don't really feel like uh playing a Plague Crafter and sacking our own beetle for them to discard a card. Two AM? My god. I don't even want you to sacrifice that. Both of my creatures are better than that. One, two, three, four. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. One, two, three, four, five. Shh. I guess we can play one, two, three, four, five, six. We can play Siege Worm next turn, I guess. It's a worm turn? It was definitely wasn't a worm turn there. One, two, three, four, five, six, if we played Swamp instead of this. Yep. Mono forests over here. Now it's a worm turn. The best creature type. You know, the worm. Nature's friend. What the hell does that mean? Oh, I roll. Man, thank goodness for this gateway plaza, or else you couldn't actually cast half your deck. Literally half your deck. One, two, three cards out of five cards. The problem is, if they have Plague Crafter and we play this guy and attack, uh, they can literally just Vigor Spine Worm. Or they can... Uh, they can Plague Crafter and then we have to sacrifice the Vigor Spine Worm, which is pretty bad. Okay, well... Now I don't feel bad about playing the Worm. And I think playing... If they see this and then we... Uh, and then we attack with this, they're way more likely to block here, so we have no guys. But I guess they if they had Plaguecrafter, they're probably going to block anyway, just to give us no guys. However, since they did not block, I'm more inclined to play Vigor Spine Worm. So, wow, another card you could not have cast off this if you didn't have this one gateway plaza. That's actually good. Let's do that. Uh, Molderhulk? Definitely put you in the graveyard. So Molderhook costs seven. That's a little high right now. 
God, I really want to draw two lands, though. Yeah, what the hell. Okay, that's actually not bad. Pretty sure we kill this, tap this. Choose, tap you, kill you. Some stay dry while others feel the pain. Chocolate ring. Guess we could have tapped this guy so that they trade with one of these instead of the cat. Trading with the cat's pretty bad. I mean, of course, they have statute status in hand. No? Wow, I'm impressed. Uh, so we have three creatures in the graveyard. Lurcher is a 5-5, five, five, so we can play both of these next turn. Or we can play this and this. Sack the beetle. Mm -hmm. I will take five. Oh, Mysterious Cube on November, Cube on November 7th and then Modern Cube on November 21st. That's literally the days I get back from BlizzCon, which is great. I'll go to BlizzCon, I'll come back, we'll cube it up. Sure. This is where they draw a swamp. Kapow. No, no kapow. Okay. Uh, opponent is definitely screwed up. You know, you can tell from their, look, Deadweight, Hired Poisoner, Status Statue, Smart. Like, you can tell from the cards, they're definitely mono green. Sure. Two Deadweights. That's pretty good. Their removal is very good. Yeah, gaining two life a turn from this guy is not bad. However, if they block... Yeah, that's actually fine. So now we're going to sack Plague Crafter to trade with Wario Cappy, so they have nothing. They have nothing! Main. One, two, three. This guy... All right. This is where they play their own Plague Crafter, and that's six to eight. I'm waiting for it. That is not it. So you you basically have to block, which is nice.
Just gonna keep this in hand for now. Some stay dry while others. Oh, we got the swamp. Double black card incoming, or black blue card, or black white blue blue white black card. That's not even a thing. Wow, mirror match. Well, they have to block, so I guess that's fine. If they didn't have a, a way to make their 2-2 kill this guy last turn, I can't imagine they drew that because they drew the swamp, so. All right, working out. Well, we're going to keep playing lands in case we draw Mnemonic Dispersal is what I'm going to keep calling it. I don't know it's actually Mnemonic Revival. And that'll do. Rat into District Guide. All right, so... Man, still wish I had Crushing Canopy, especially after seeing their own Thief of Sanity. They have like four removal spells that can get rid of Thief of Sanity. We have two thieves. Should be okay, but... Uh, this hand seems good. <laughs> I'm a fan. I will keep this hand. One green, and we can play this guy on three, which is pretty insane. Or four, rather. I don't know why I said three. Their deck seems great, so... Oh, wow. Sure. Oh boy. Questions, questions. We're going to play this. If they have Plague Crafter, I don't want that to be an out for Thief. I just want to be able to guarantee, I want to maximize the chances of hitting with Thief. So if we go Thief on turn three with no other creatures and they go Plague Crafter, it's pretty bad. Uh, same reason I'm not blocking here, because that just seems bad. That's good. That is a very good. That is a very good. Our decks are basically very similar. We have Thief of Sanities. We have Sultai cards. Forest Forest would be nice. I'll take Forest Forest. It's not really what we're looking for here. Same reason we're not attacking. Plague Crafter is not an out I want. If they have dead weight, they have dead weight. That's fine. Attacking with one here is interesting. What did they get? Gateway Plaza? Sure. Prey upon. Okay. Seems good. Never don't have it. Still a two for one. I'm okay with it. Um, yeah, I guess we're playing this here. I would love if they play a burglar rat. Oh my god. Let me tell you about my burglar rat. Actually, I'm attacking here because if they want to block, we can actually uh, Gruesome Menagerie back Thief and Child, which is pretty nuts. Burglar rat me, brah! That's not a burglar rat. They have two cards in hand? Oh man, our hand seems pretty insane. Don't know much my OG. No, we don't need a one drop. You just get five five mana worth of creatures for uh, of your choice, no less. So, whatever creatures that you're good enough to cast once, you get to choose which two you want. We could have waited until we had Beetle in the graveyard. Still waiting for that. Uh... No, you're just gonna steal it. Yeah, like you do. Okay. 
This is the third concoct connive we've seen in two matches. So that's that's nice. Tap you, kill you. Yep, it's pretty stupid. Another green gets us back Thief of Sanity for a third time, and we have a fourth Thief of Sanity in the deck, so that's nice. Wow, this is what, 3-3? Three, 2-2? Three? Two, two? All right, it says four, that's fine. Meanwhile, this guy's only a 3-3, three, three, which is not fun. I guess we could... Burglar? Burgle? We could... Why is this thing blocked out? That's kind of funny. They have no cards in hand. Ah, that makes that worse. Still one of the only things we can do this turn. We can't cast either of the double green guys. Probably just worth playing this guy to get it in the graveyard to make our Rhizome Lurcher bigger at this point. Like, there's no point in holding this guy. Like, they're just going to play whatever they draw, whether it's land or a spell. Just that guy, huh? All right. Block with a rat. This is another game where I felt like we were super ahead with the Thief of Sanity, with the Gruesome Menagerie. This is actually going to be pretty good. This is actually a gas. This is where the gasoline lives. And they have no cards in hand, and our hand is Lurcher, Golgari, Feinbrook, or Nullhide Ferox. This is also a 6-6 six, six now, which is <laughs> significantly better than it was a turn ago. Yeah, that's fine. No blocks. Uh, I guess we'll be lurching. Come on, second green source for my entire hand. I guess we can play this guy next turn. Imperial Swag, thanks so much for the resub. Welcome back. Five months in a row. This is this guy's obnoxious. That is an obnoxious top deck, but I guess we can. We can play this. A nice healthy 15 life. Um Graveyard. I'll keep this on top. It's pretty useful. I would like a land here, but... If you want to trade here, that turns this guy on, so I'm good to go. I'm G2G, my friend. Alright, that's not what we're looking for, but this guy is still castable. Some stay dry while others feel the pain of ocean mind. rain. Trade? Trade these? Stupid Jar, for the first magic content creator I ever watched and the only one I still watch, I give you a small token of thanks for the good. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. You have been around forever, dude. Stupid Jawa, thank you so much, buddy. I really appreciate it. You are my favorite Jawa.
Oh, there it is. There it is. If they get rid of this guy, we just get to get it back. They're probably going to get rid of this guy. The question is, do we wait? We're interesting. The question is, do we wait? I need a second green. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're actually one mana shy of playing this and this this turn. What was it four? So we could just deal them six here and then put a, a big fat idiot on the board. Oh, if we did this first, we probably could have, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, we could have done it the other way around, but that, that would that would require them not blocking. And once they know it's like six damage, they're probably way more likely to block. Yeah, so now we have six, but we can't we can't worm, unfortunately. I don't want to run out of siege worm because we'd have to I mean I think this is fine like this, right? We get an extra six damage in. And now they have two blockers, so even if they block the biggest guys, they're still taking five. So it's it's kind of mind blowing to me that we haven't found a second green yet. I mean let's see what you top decked probably something good i don't know block there block there seems perfect you take five and wow this deck was insane look at, i just want to look at it again it was a beautiful it was like a, this deck was a work of art <sighs> dream eater gruesome menagerie which is which has been consistently impressive to me um one fine broker one night veil predator very very good Nullhide Ferox, double double Thief of Sanity, and Mnemonic Betrayal, surprisingly good. Uh, even if you won for one, even if you just get like one of their three drops or one of their four drops, it's still fine because of the versatility, I think. Um, yeah, deck was very sweet. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. I'm just ending the YouTube video. So if you're watching on YouTube, slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Patreon and on Twitch. Both of the links are in the description below. And if you're looking for super soft lounge pants or tees or socks or underwear, check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. That is my affiliate link. I will get a kickback. You will get free shipping, free returns, and 15% off. They also have some sweet glow-in-the-dark Star Wars underwear right now. 10 out of 10 would uh, definitely... Uh, recommend them and yesterday in the stream there's a ton of people recommending them as well so be sure to check that out if you guys are interested really appreciate the support and I'll catch you guys next time